Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in, week out, prophesying his truth and the return of the Heavenly Father, which is prophecies found in the Holy Scriptures. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahara Chakwadash, which is the Heavenly Father name, who never ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah and Jesus. We double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this word in true sincerity and charity. The holy prophets back to then the reincarnation as the lord said they will be in these last days i basically want to go into this topic our elder had came across this page and we was told to do a lesson as the scripture says mark those that cause division as it is written but i just want to do a little quick little lesson now a quick little exhortation about you know fake imposters man you know claiming to be a part of great millstone just to have a great millstone leave a bad taste or have do something crazy that's attached to great millstone or post something crazy that is that's attached to great millstone man and great millstone is not affiliated with no hate group no muslim group no 501c3 charter group no churches no temples made with hands and none of them alphabet camps out there that just popping up left or right. You know. But really, I was going to go into this lesson, man. This uh the watchman of Yahweh Shah, he is not a part of Great Millstone as well. Because the uh one of his posts, it gives off a carnal vibration and a carnal mentality. And I believe he have like two or three of those posts on here. Here go one about mighty man judging the unrighteous. That's facts, but it's gonna happen on lower time. It's not gonna happen on our time, getting carnal, getting impatient, getting militant, you know, seeking for blood. It ain't gonna happen on our time according to that way, because right now we just learning, we just growing. And you know, we speaking these things into the existence, manifestation. There ain't no need for us to get carnal or militant, and that's straight out the scriptures. We got another post on here as well. In two miles, so take exit 17, 17 for right US there. 12, US 20. You know, the scriptures stand true, the judgment stand true, but it's about the vibe. It's about the vibration we pushing out here to the viewers and to the subscribers and to the listeners, man. You know, we gotta always remember what the scripture says. It's uh Got his first scripture real quick. It's the book of Romans, chapter 16, and verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. So the scripture tell us it's our business, our duty to mark those that's caused division. And that Greek word for mark means scopeo which means to watch, admonish, rebuke, rebuke before all, so all can understand and know the tactics and the wiles of agents and slanders and false prophets and false brethren. They make false camps, they make false pages, and they put content on there, and they put lies mixed with truth, man, and you have that left and right amongst Israel, man, within the camps, amongst individuals, amongst scoffers, agents, in half a mile, you know, take exit 17 for US 12, US 20. The scriptures tell us to avoid them and mark them, man. You know? And it's, uh, that's part of defending the gospel as well. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death. Take but exit 17. To be spiritually 17. minded is life and peace. So being carnal, you know, leaning towards your flesh, walking in your flesh, trusting in, in your flesh. In a quarter mile, use the left two in, lanes to turn uh, left onto US 12 West, US 20 West. Hey, that's going to lead you to death, man. It's going to lead you to a defeat, you know, posting content like this. You know, it's only going to leave the window and the open interpretation. As to this is what great use the left two about. lanes to and turn left on us 12 west do, us 20 west in large numbers which is not true a great millstone a true man of great millstone are guard gathered in large numbers man it's the fellowship it's to pray 
and it's to help one another, man, and do the work of the Lord to receive salvation. Not a, not of ill will and In ill half intentions, a mile, man. Continue straight up West hate, 95th Street. But out of love and fear and sincerity, man, because we want to be saved and we want to warn our people and wake them up and edify, exhort, admonish, rebuke, however way possible, man. You know, it says, uh, because the carnal man is enmity against Yahweh, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. And that's what it is, man. Being in this walk of faith, man, it's not about being carnal. It's not about how many guns you got or how militant you can get and dress or how loud you can speak and how many Continue times straight you can onto West 95th Street. white man and Esau, Edom, the devil. You know, it's not about that. It's about understanding what we are part of this walk and this faith, Continue man. on West 95th Street for one mile. Chapter 10. Second Corinthians 10 and 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down the strongholds. So the weapons of our warfare, the warfare we are fighting, it's not carnal, it's not fleshly. It's spiritual, you know? And that's the hardest part about it. Head it's north, then turn right. Imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. So that's the true warfare, man. You know, that's part of execute vengeance, you know, hoping that Yahweh Basham Al Shai remember us for our good works, man. And not getting impatient and getting militant and taking matters into our own hand, which is ultimately going to lead to death, man. Because the weapons we use is strictly words in this Bible, man. You know, but as the scripture says, mark those that cause divisions and knowing that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man, and we're not ignorant of Satan devices and the wiles of the devil. Because, you know, he sent ages and false brethren and false pastors, and he set these men up and fund these men to push their madness. But again, this guy is not with Great Millstone. You know, he, he never came through the process in the, uh, which all men come through, which is stand on the side of the line, you know, being examined. You know, ultimately being accepted in the right way, not just setting up your own camp, saying you're part of Great Millstone. It don't, it don't work like that because if you do something, it comes back on the ministry. You know, now the scripture says you have to walk a certain walk in this uh, journey, man, so the ministry won't be blamed. You know, because we all walking in the image of the Lord. And yes, the image of the Lord is a part of the order and vengeance. You know, but now in this day we walk and we the scripture says be wise as a serpent and harmless as doves, man. You know, we sheeps in the midst of wolves. You know, ready to devour us. So we gotta move a certain way, man. He got all his content on here with the elders and truth. And you know, he also got these carnal messages which is getting can give off this uh wrong vibration, man, to Israel. It is Jude one and three. Uh Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. So we got to contend for the faith. And rather, sometimes it be verbally, you know, and we contend it going precept upon precept, man, to the law and to the testimony and to the prophecies. Or sometimes we have to contend physically, man, or we have to just defend ourselves, man, you know. But the mindset is not to be carnal and push a militant mindset. You know, we're not affiliated with no camps or groups or such. But yeah, we will get labeled as such. For there are certain men, and this is the reason why, for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord, power, and our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which is the true name of whom the raven called Jesus Christ. So this is the reason why the ministry will be blamed. This is the reason why they will uh, label us as hate groups and militant groups and get sound bites and sound clips because this is the wiles of the devil, man. This is how he moved. You know, rather it be a 
a false YouTube page, a false camp, you know, an agent, a slander. And we know how the enemy move. You know, that's why we got to always pray to Yahweh Shem Shai for strength, protection, and discernment. And it's Ephesians 6 and 11, put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, I take unto you the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and have it done all to stand. You know, and that comes by contending for the faith and believing in Yahweh Shem Al Shai, and doing as the Scripture says, do man mark those that cause division, man. You know, warn the sheep, but these, uh, are these, uh, the, these tricks. You know, whether we said about Esau eating an agent or just a wicked Jake of our people, man. Yahweh Shem Al Shai, uh, <laughs> word would not come back void, man. You could do nothing against the truth, but for it. So, Lord, who's left with that a fan? Shalom.